parts. This is the D, what's it called, D2? Yeah, D2. So we're gonna be putting that together. And the DS3, the shaft. process was complete. Pretty easy to do. Didn't take too long once you got the first one down. On to the next step. Parts bag. Okay, these are done. Not too hard. And then the next parts. And one more thing that we have discovered that we need to do. Since this instruction book doesn't really tell you, like we said, how things go together, it just tell you where they go. We went and put everything together like the book says, and then we had to take a lot of these balls off to put them in. I have a little wrench or something that can fit in there and it doesn't mar this up. And if you have, this here works with the teeth, but it will mar up these shafts really quick. So what we did is we got out our trusty pinch required, okay? So if you just put it around the shaft and pinch it, then you can tighten those rod ends. Anyways, that was something we found out and discovered, and it was kind of a bummer because we had got all everything nice and pretty looking in the end, and then we had to take it all out. It was so frustrating. Anyways, that was just a little quick update. Okay, going with the next part. Putting these together. We have all of our parts. Top piece. This piece is already on there. Okay, so this is the building of this here. Put it through. Put your finger over the bottom so it doesn't come out. Slide it right up into there. Get up, turn it over, keep your finger there. Otherwise, you're not gonna get this in. And I'll show you what we're up against here. See that? Can't get your screw past it. Once it's in there, so remember that if you're trying to take it out, you're going to have to take the whole thing out like that, put it in the same way. This one goes up and over here. The two notches go together. See the notch? Find that in there. All right spring in the brass tube sleeve in and it's not very tough to get that screw up there now you can't really get to the screw that way so now you have to put your finger over that put this upside down grab your screwdriver put it down in there and shove up towards your thumb and there it is now you're pushing up and the spring can go down and you can put the nut on you don't have to worry about twisting the screwdriver at all it just goes right on now any further adjustment sure then you'd have to torque down that's how you get it in look at that about that so apparently what we were talking about earlier when they do the, the stirring servo, it's going to be like this from the center of the chassis and turn down like this and turn them. And that's how you would get your crab walk or see that? <laughs> There it works, there we go. Except for the next step. Okay, so make sure you get the screw in first on the bottom piece.
before you put it in and then put the top piece in. Otherwise, you will not get it in there. Let's take the screwdriver in and push up and put your nut on the top piece that comes through and then hand tighten until you're ready to get the wrench. And that's the next step. Okay, so that was getting the steering on and the bumper. So we're good. So far this has been an absolute blast to build. Makes me want to get a Hornet now. Because that thing was amazing for a two-wheel drive buggy. The thing was just badass. Alright, so this is what we're building. If you don't know what it is, look back to past videos, catch up on. It's a Cloud Buster, Super Cloud Buster build. Gray edition. That's where we're at.